Bravo Alpha, final approach, runway 19. November Bravo Alpha, runway 19, surface wind 180 degrees, 10 zero gusting 15 knots, clear to land. It's land runway 19, November Bravo Alpha. What is good everybody on YouTube? Welcome again to yet another interesting video. I know it's been quite some time since the last video, but a lot has been going on here and there. And finally, we are back. So let's get right into it. So our journey today takes us all the way to Africa, the motherland, Namibia to be precise. Namibia has been on my travel list for quite some time, mainly because of beautiful landscape, amazing people, and of course, the beer. With me in the cockpit today is my buddy Tatenda. He's from Zimbabwe and also a flight instructor, and he'll be assisting me with the comms. In the back seat is Kixa 101, Namibian. He's a longtime friend from China, and he'll be our local tour guide for today. The sun is out, the day looks great. Let's go have some fun. Today, my buddies and I will be doing a short flight to Sosa's Flay, which is one of the major tourist attractions here, located in the southwestern part of Namibia. It's a four hour trip by road from Vinduk, but luckily for us, we'll be doing that in an hour and a half in our Cessna 172. Sosa's Flay is composed uh, mainly of the large dunes that surround it, and it's a great tourist destination all year round. So, if you're considering traveling to Namibia, this should probably be on your, on your list. There are quite a number of attractions around Sources Flay for visitors to explore like the Dune 45, the Hidden Vlay, the Daddy and the Death Vlay. More pictures will be shown at the end of this video. It is rather unfortunate that we lost most of the cockpit video because the camera was mistakenly set to time-lapse mode. So this is what happened to most of the footage. And to my passenger in the back seat, sorry we couldn't get his headset to work because the ports were not functioning, so he cannot really communicate with us. But he seems to be doing pretty fine, chilling in the back seat and taking pictures like bro. Bruh. But regardless, we still had fun, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. So let me give you some facts about Namibia that I've come up with so far. There's quite a number of them, but I feel like these are most interesting. So fact number one. Namibia is a country located in the southern part of Africa. Well, for those who don't know, Africa is a continent and Namibia is just a small part of it. Just like a piece of cake. Namibia shares borders with Angola in the north, Zambia in the northeast, Botswana in the east, South Africa in the southeast and south, and then the Atlantic Ocean to the west. Yeah, what's up guys? They even put one here to show the whole panel. Oh, okay, to see the inside. Yeah. Oh, have you seen that famous guy on uh, on Instagram the, in, who flies in um, America? Uh, what's his name? Is it Matt or Trent? He's always taking videos while sitting on the guy. He's an old guy. Oh. And he's got a beard. I know lots of them. Oh, okay. 06 to Skok, 06 to 2. 
There's this guy in Florida. Uh, Florida. Uh, Florida. Uh, Florida. Uh, Florida. Uh, on a sling. Sling aircraft, but uh, he makes a customization. So, instead of mounting the cameras here, they already put the mounts there for him. Oh, okay. So, all he does is just put his cameras in. We connect to the power supply. He doesn't have to do anything. Okay, so the aircraft was modified, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kofi. We'll continue 125. He has cameras everywhere. He just puts a camera there, and that is it. He doesn't go off. He can record as much as he wants. Okay. Yeah. Fact number two. Namibia is the second least densely populated country in the world. It has a population of 2 million, a country that is twice the size of California. Interesting. The low population makes it an excellent place to see wildlife. Country is so small that it feels like everybody knows everybody. At least that's how I felt. Fact number three: Namibia is home to the world's largest population of free-roaming cheetahs. Between 2,500 and 3,000 can be found here. Even though I've not seen one around yet, I would want to stay far away from those. Fact number four: Namibia was a German colony, and then later under South Africa. For a while before gaining independence in 1990. Fact number five: the currency used in Namibia is a Namibian dollar, which is also equivalent to the South African rand, both of which can be used freely. One USD is about 16 Namibian dollars. And last on the list, Namibia is home to the second largest canyon in the world, which is the Fish River Canyon, located close to the border with South Africa. It is also the oldest in the world. It will really be nice flying through these canyons. But how is he making a phone call there? Yeah, I'm wondering as well. That is strange. Look at this video. Oh, he captured it. These are called what? This animal. Uh, what did you say? The antelope or something. Like that. Yeah, with the long horn. Yeah, the long horns. Yeah. They say they're not. They're not wild. I'm not getting close to that. <laughs> thing. The antelopes I've seen, they don't have horns. Those are really common in Ghana. We don't have. I uh, hardly see that. Uh, okay. We took a road trip to um, uh, Etosha, Etosha Game Reserve. Oh, okay, when? Yeah, I think uh, the weekend before we came here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how was that? Oh, it was nice. It was beautiful. At night we could hear like the lions. Um, oh, did you sleep there? Yeah, we slept there. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, we got a nice place. Did you take any videos or pictures? Yeah, I took some videos. Yeah. Okay, with I, your GoPro. I mounted the cameras on the car. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, which one? That car. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. We rented a car. Oh, uh, okay. It, it was like a package. The ha the the room, the car, and everything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Are they gonna be on your YouTube? Yeah. Later on. Oh, the internet. Huh? Probably the internet is slow, so it's not loading. Uh, there's an airfield there. Oh, this one. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that's an airfield there. Is it active? It looks like. Ah, no, I don't think it's active. Looks dead. It's in the middle of nowhere as well. Yeah. Uh, turn out to a heading of uh, zero zero four zero. Okay.
beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful landing. Thank you. It's a very nice landing. So here we are finally at Sources Fly. It's a bit chilly, hot and dry. Initially, we planned to fly by the shoreline where the desert meets the ocean. It would have been a very incredible view, but unfortunately, we're running low on fuel, so we're gonna have to do that on our next trip and explore the place much better. But anyways, I do hope you enjoy the views. Thank you.